and what is going on race fans and YouTube my name is Nance Gray Fan 4338 with the whole IROC series league racers here for press press conference uh, number two of race four of 18 we just now completed uh, Sonoma uh, the only I think it's no we have Watkins Glen sorry so one of the two uh, road courses in the season I'd like to say first of all congrats to Ross Racing 25 uh, for winning the race, so we'll start out with you, Ross. Uh, just go ahead and explain uh, how your race was, the strategies you played out. You know, the, the race ended up turning out pretty good. I mean, I was doing a tough battle with the 24 all night. It, it seems like what this what this race was, it was mostly a race on strategy because, I mean, I was trying to make it on a on a one pit stop strategy, and it seemed to turn out in my in my favor. I mean, the 24 ran out going into the uh, to the one corner there. But right as soon as we got into the final stretches, I ran out of fuel coming right at the finish line. So, I mean, it turned out to be a really great race for me. The outcome turned out in my favor. I mean, I'm really sorry for race day, though, because I wish he was up there to battle with me. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you guys pretty much had the um, like the best cars pretty much um, all race. You guys were the only ones really uh, up there. Uh, so congrats again to Ross Racing 25 and his uh, Caterpillar 31. Is that the car you were driving? He was driving a 31 car. Uh, so congrats to him. Uh, second place. I'm sorry, I don't know who that was. Okay. Karma. All right, Karma. Uh, you're in the uh, Toyota 20 car, uh, Dollar General, I think it was, or something. So uh, you were also up there too. Um, you were kind of I, I know you were kind of in the middle of the pack, and then you eventually got up there. So how was your race, and how'd you play? Uh, the strategies out. Uh, I I had no intentions of being the dominant car since I know other people here are better than me. So I from the very beginning I knew that I would have to win on strategy if I, if I was going to win this race. I was saving field the whole race and I was able to go one extra lap and my strategy almost worked because on the last run I cut down Ross's and Race Day's lead on me by over 10 seconds. But they had to save so much. That's very significant. But yeah. overall, but overall, very good day. I would be happy, unhappy for a second place because I was not expecting to win. That is all. All right. I'm pretty proud of this. All right, very good, Karma. Um, I have third place. I don't know who came in third. B. Okay, uh, Will from Adidas, you're driving the four uh, Outback. Uh, go ahead and play through yours. You were kind of in and out, like, especially caught up with a bunch of us, me, Tiger. Um, at the very beginning, we had some problems, and uh, you got your <laughs> way up to third. So just explain how your race went and how you were able to do that. Um, I'm happy we're going to the next track next week. <laughs> That's all. Okay. All right, well, that's good. <laughs> uh, probably the quickest. Uh, fourth place, um, assuming, who was that? Jacob? Yeah, Jacob. Uh, Jacob, you there? Fourth place, uh, you were driving a full, what, when, I don't even know what car Jacob was driving. Uh, Jacob, you came in fourth. 34. 34 car, thank you. How was uh, your race? How'd that all play out? That's what big mama. Go ahead, fifth place. Um... Oh, okay. Alright, so that's uh, Jacob Bucks, everybody. Uh, who came next? Was that me? It was probably me. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly can't say anything about that race. It was crazy, especially the beginning there. I mean, it really didn't get... Didn't mean to get into a lot of people like Tiger. That was pretty darn crazy. Um, but yeah, at the end... I don't know. I mean, I was kind of looking forward to finishing up there, but I was like, well, heck, you know, there's a couple more races... Till we get to the chase, so you know, Auto Club's a big one, Indy might be another one, so we'll just see how it all plays out. Uh, next, I'm assuming, was race day. Oh, it was? Uh, oh, that's right. All right, so Tiger, you were also kind of caught up with me and Will. Um, explain uh, your race. Three wrecks, <laughs> not, not necessarily the best track record. Um, I did spin with last lap or two laps ago, tried to get back out on track, had to shift into reverse, need to get the car on the track. 24 ran into me, really immature, really, really immature reaction. But, but overall, we had, I, had, I don't expect anything better than a top five at, at the road courses. Okay. I don't expect to win. Never have, never will. Right. But overall, pretty good day. 
mean, the, uh, honestly, a 43 will not prop, will not be getting the easiest easiest race of his life out of club next week. Yeah, we were able to touch <laughs> ourselves three times, so here comes race four, and you're going to have to pay me back for that. So, um, All right, and then race day, you have any comments of the whole Iraq Series League and your thoughts and comments about today's race? Um, um, well, I don't know where to start. Uh, we had probably the Dominic car all day. Basically, started the race uh, on the pole. We got dumped by Ross, but we were able to recover. That was no big deal. Uh, we were doing good, saving fuel, and then uh, car made a dumbass move and pulling out in front of me. Uh. I, I, the burning out of fuel, it wasn't really. It was kind of my fault, but kind of. Uh, I don't really know what to say about that. Uh, basically, I'm just really upset about just the way the one did that. I don't really care if you want to smoke it down or not. I don't really know what the hell you were thinking in your stupid mind. But uh, quite frankly, that was a very immature move, and uh, I, I don't want to be mad at you, but uh, you gotta, most of you guys probably know that that was very, uh, very immature to just drive out. And quite frankly, I didn't have time enough to pause uh, to go through you, and you just uh, ran right into me. So. I'd like to see the video of it. Okay. No, and you put in reverse, and then, then basically that's what happened. You guys can look at it. I don't care what the hell I'm not going to lie here. What happened was I spun out, tried to get it around on um, first gear, wouldn't move, shifted in reverse, went down, saw a race day there. Tried to, I, I was really just trying to pull him out. I didn't expect him to hit me. But, not a bit. But the fact that you called that an immature move when you're the one that backed right into me racing when I was competing for a win and you've already won, Really, it's image, no, it's not your, it's not the fact that you hit him, it's the fact that how you reacted. I would have probably reacted the same way. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much, especially at a road course, it's really hard when we're all used to making left turns. It's it's very difficult to, especially race here, and you have problems trying to race, and, and it happens to everybody. And, and I'm sorry, I should have at least had a second, at, at worst third place finish, and the fact that that probably kind of ruined my fuel saving strategy, and I had to... And I was coasting that whole corner almost, and then I, I had to drive it to, to try to keep up with Ross somewhat, cause, uh, but, but I, I, I don't want to be mad at you, Tiger, but that, quite frankly, is the stupidest move I've ever seen a driver make on NASCAR 14. Alright, so, um, <laughs> yeah. That's Jacob. Uh, Jacob's our, like, our, uh, like our voice man here. Alright, so, just, uh, just to continue this on, um, race, oh, race day, just any last words? Before I continue. No, I, I, I just want to like talk to Tiger about this because I don't want to be mad at him, yeah. but I'm quite frankly the most pissed off you can ever be. This is the most I've ever gotten beaten up after a race. Uh, really, it's just a road course. Do you expect everyone to be good? It's but as I was saying, my car really wasn't moving when I kept going to the theater. My re my, I'm, not, I'm not lying, my car was moving at first. Alright. Well, then you should have paused, waited for, and, and you were lagged on anyway. You weren't going to gain any spots on it. Well, technically, I wasn't allowed to have a lot of time. Uh, well, I don't know why you're forcing them when you're allowed, when you're racing. Honestly, no I didn't expect them to get there that fast. That's another thing. <laughs> um, excuse me, I was one of the best cars here. I could have been the one you were with Ross for the win, but I ran out because I ran into an idiot who backed up right in front of me. Very sad. You were so... Alright. So, I'm, 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 I'm not just mad about... I'm, I'm not as mad about the running the gas thing, but I'm just saying, this is absolutely pathetic that you did that. I'm sorry. Alright, so we've been... It's not like it's going to affect the whole career. Alright, so we've been, um... Really? It'll affect your whole career when you go into a wall next time. So from just the sound of these arguments, um... Jacob, it's kind of laggy. No. Alright, so just to continue on with this, um, since we are kind of already talking about this, we should probably go, um to the chase um since this has already been very heated up uh so chase is kind of important at this point now our uh winners are our, our winners were tiger fan uh 895 at daytona uh who won the second what was the second race that was um michigan, michigan. uh no doubt wound up winning that now no doubt's pretty much not going not anywhere up there i mean he might be able to compete in the chase but since he's missed at least three races now uh, he might not be a part of that um we had, um, after that, what was that? That was uh, Martinsville, uh, race three, and uh, Karma won that race. Uh, and then we have Ross here uh, winning at Sonoma 
And so, talking to you guys, um, first of all, Karma, we believe, is the uh, points leader. Karma, what are your thoughts going into the chase? What do you expect and like? what are you hoping that you'll be able to do um, going into the chase, hoping that you will still be able to make that top spot and win the IROC Series Championship? Anything but that if I don't make the final round, it's a disappointment. Okay. Uh, then we have to go to Tiger Fan. You're the Daytona 500 winner for IROC. Are you concerned by anything on the runs you had late, uh, lately? And what are you expecting from uh, the chase? Not concerned at all. Alright, and then we have to... All I can say is I'm going to be pretty good at New Hampshire, Talladega. Expect me to be running up front, Homestead. I expect to be there and win. Alright, and then Ross, of course, you're pretty much locked into the chase uh, for having... Um, this win, um, do you think this might help you a lot for the next couple of races that we might have, like Indy uh, and Auto Club, especially for the next race? Um, are you hoping that that win uh, really helped you? Uh, I mean, it, it kind of helped me a little bit, but I'm kind of concerned about the next couple of tracks like Indy and Auto Club because those tracks aren't really in the best of my favor. So all I can just say is we're just going to have to go there and see what happens. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it for race number four um, of the IROC series um, from Sonoma. We will see you guys next time uh, for race five of 18. That will be at Auto Club uh, Speedway, and I uh, hope that everyone will be able to watch that. So I'm NASCAR Fan 4348, and everyone else from IROC, and we will see you guys in the next video.